I like it. And I like it too. And I'm happy you're here. So take it, Frank. Hey, welcome to the Pat Ocho, the POS portion of the show, with Pat's co host, Bobby Tamburo. And our special guest tonight is the one and only comic who can be seen that seems to always be getting into trouble in hot water on compound meter. Oh, media. Media. <laughs> this guy's a real fucking <laughs> Welcome, pro. Gino Visconti, everybody. Hey, hey. hi. Hey, everybody. Hi. Were you nervous, Frank? Because that was terrible. Yeah. I know. I, well, I had two good ones in a row. I knew I was going to fuck up. It didn't matter if I were, was. Were you real nervous about the stupid joke you were trying to make about the in hot water thing? No. Oh. No. Not nervous about that. Yeah, but just, you can give a fuck. It, well, why did you was... call it the, the portion of the show? It's the whole fucking show. Yeah. <laughs> the I show's called P.O. Like, here's the P.O.S. portion. Fuck you. I, are you. Do you think your story that you tell once a week no. is. Big no, I screwed now? up. I admit. I admit. I fucked up. Okay. Why, did, why I, are I you alive up. and Cloris Leachman dead? Why did that happen? Yeah. Uh, man, she was right in my wheelhouse. I can't no, she's way she... older than you. No, no, my wheelhouse. As oh, far things you fuck. Yeah. Yeah, see, I four. get that. I know I know the wheelhouse reference. I get that. Yeah, she's in your wheelhouse. Yeah, because yeah, that's what they used to call like a whorehouse back in the olden times, a wheelhouse. I thought the wheelhouse was like a, was a baseball term because it's like if it's really in where you, your swing usually right. is, it's in your wheelhouse. That came, that's what I thought. Same thing. That I, came I, actually from when a guy would thing. go to a saloon and pull his dick out and swing it at the whores and see which one he could hit, right, in his wheelhouse. <laughs> I like that. I like yours better. Like, yeah. you, you just hit him in the fucking wheelhouse. Yeah. Speaking of that, right. rest in peace, Hank Aaron. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Racism <laughs> couldn't stop you, but COVID could. There you go, buddy. Good job. Back oh, and then all the fans are writing in. Yeah, I, I, I said he died of COVID. I'm like, send me a fact. Well, I can't find it. Well, then stop. I could sit here and say he died of COVID. They're all fucking idiots like me. I'm like, proving you're as dumb as me doesn't help any of us. They're all dying from Betty White. She is the Highlander, and she's drinking their blood. Chorus sure, Lee, she all of them. She survived. She'll never die. And she's not even funny. Well, Fuck she, this with the Betty White is funny not a shit. Comedian. She's a chick that, you know, she was a fucking piece of ass in her day. And now, you know, no, she's... No, stop with that. She was. Right? No, she, she was. Look back at the Frank, Frank was there. Frank was she a piece of ass? Uh, yes, I was have she to. She in your admit wheelhouse. She was. She's, <laughs> she's in my wheelhouse now. Your wheelhouse is old and sucks. <laughs> I'm telling you. I hope, no, hopefully they suck. I mean, I hope they suck. I mean, is there anybody black in your wheelhouse? I'm sorry. Anyone black in your wheelhouse? Yes. Who? Yes. Who? Ben Green. Um, Pittman. What's it? The one who played Jane Pittman. Who's Jane, uh, Pittman? Jane, Jane Pittman? Jane Pittman. Jane Pittman was a great movie from the 70s where this... Black face character. Oh, Al <laughs> Jolson. <laughs> Al... No. no? Sarah Silverman Not... with the black face? Which one is it, buddy? You can tell Jimmy me. Fallon? Who was it? Oh, uh, what was her name? Jane oh, Pittman. Yeah, now you got me looking Jane... shit up. I... Yeah, look it up, Jane Pitt. Something about. Yeah, I'm not Jane trying Pitt. to do a show. For my portion yeah, of the take, show, take I'll search for black face. <laughs> The autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman from 1974, right. the year I was born, Frank. Right. <laughs> What's her name? Cicely Tyson? Come Cicely on, Tyson, oh, yeah. yes. I'm gonna I'd give rather that. fuck yes. Mike Tyson. She was a piece of ass. That'd be in your wheelhouse. I'll give you that, she's, buddy. She's, she's in my wheelhouse. I'm, they don't she have to, to be stay funny in the back to be in my house. She couldn't they don't have to be door. funny to be in my wheelhouse. <laughs> she has to sit all the way in the back of the wheelhouse, but she's yeah. in the house. And she's in the house. Thank you. How about Rosa yes. Parks? Was she in your wheelhouse? Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I, I'll tell you something. I, I was looking at it the other night. She gave It was an interview that she gave a few years ago. She looks like a California raisin. <laughs> Viola Davis. I, I fuck Viola Davis. She's in my wheelhouse uh, right yeah, now. Yeah, not Cicely yeah. Tyson. Viola Davis. Wait well, I that. mean, if I was his age, 107, yeah, I could recall that. Robin Givens is my go-to black. Not anymore. She's a fucking uh, train wreck now. I can She's get got... her now. What's that? <laughs> I can get her now. Please. Uh, never. Ever. She had a hyena laugh. That was awful. Oh, I'm worried about the laugh. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought he was gonna, she had a hyena pussy. It smelled like, uh, smelled like an animal. Well, I thought well, he was no, gonna no. really go overboard. She had Gina, a real jackal belts. cunt, is that lady. <laughs> she really did. <laughs> Bobby, who's your go-to? Who's your wheelhouse, Bobby? Who's my wheelhouse? Yeah. We know Lindsay. it's Lindsay Lohan, but who else? Yeah, Lindsay Lohan. That's it. Crazy. 
Redhead. What about Amanda Bynes? Is she in there? She's nuts. Yeah, she is that. <laughs> she is that. Have a that have a that dizzy bitch. You know that? <laughs> oh, that fucking love loon. <laughs> she lost her shit. I love it. This guy's this guy gets it. Yeah. I understand. Bobby talked about last week. I like Lindsay Lohan, but I thought she was you know, hotter when she was younger, obviously. But now I know if I went to a party, I could ignore her, then fuck her when I was leaving. Like I yeah. like that. Yeah, I couldn't point. do that with Cicely Tyson. Well, yeah, but you don't you don't we don't have the same taste in women. Yeah. Number one, we have the same I, taste love, in chicken. I, I love the chicken sure before I have Tyson the women. women. I like a woman with a really big dick. Yeah. That's me. That's me. You, I like you know, a nice Michelle Obama sized cock. That's yeah. I, like. I want a woman whose fucking dick swings around her sweatpants while they're fucking, you know, fucking kids at a pizza gate party. I want That's a me. Woman so hot. She Come on, fashion. To Elliot. That's what I want. That's. Oh, like, <laughs> uh, I'd also uh, like to throw Diana Taurasi. Diana Taurasi? Yeah. Absolutely. Why? Diana Taurasi. Because he was from UConn she, basketball. She's got a and not even the hottest UConn. Sue Bird's a hotter UConn basketball player. She's got a ton yeah, of Sue Bird, body. but Sue Bird gets by because she fucking looks a little bit like a bird. That's her thing. You're forgetting. And Rob Rebecca Lobo looks, looks like a horse. Exists. Yeah, that's true. She should look like a wolf, right? Lobo is wolf. Lobo is wolf. <laughs> Kara Walters is a monster. Yeah, they're I all... saw them both at a diner once. It was very scary. They're huge. Did you get their autograph? No, I put oh. I, I fit them an apple and rubbed their head and gave them some hay. At a diner, stop it. Well, it's not a diner. It's a it was a quaint little place in the town I used to when I was married, but it was like their <laughs> version of a diner. They baked their own bread, so I guess it's not a diner, but whatever the fuck it was. Oh no, no. That's not a Lobo and Walters, the restaurant. <laughs> That's the Panera. <laughs> Every, it was called Harvest. That's the fucking name of it was. Sorry to walk you through my house. I forgot to set up my uh my cigar ashtray, so to speak. Otherwise, you had to bring us to the Sizzly Tyson den. That's yes, I had to. Otherwise, the place gets a little wacky, and I don't want it to get too smoked up, even though I don't give a fuck anymore. But, Frank, you like Cloris Leachman? Like, you thought she was sexy? In the day, she was, yeah. I mean, there's a picture. There was a picture today on um, I, people, one, one of the ever, articles. Do you ever divide cute and sexy? Because I have to do that. I don't. I can think someone's cute, but not sexy. No, no, no. I didn't say she was cute. I thought she was sexy. Yeah, I she thought she was cute. Hair. In 1974, when she won the Academy Award, she had on a long, slinky black dress with a breast hanging out and long, slinky, slinky black hair. I yeah. thought she looked hot. Dude, that's creepy. You remember 1974 Cloris Leachman outfit? Oh, but that I didn't see. I don't remember seeing it then. I remember seeing it around 80, 80. I was born like then. Just to, just to put that in perspective, I was I was I was born in the same dress. I came out, my tits were hanging out. It was hot. This portion of the show, can we just ask Frank which old broads he banged? That's what we're doing right now. I'm yeah. just going that. I like that. this. I like being part of the birth of a bit. That's fucking great. Frank, who ball. was the first celebrity that you jerked off to? The first celebrity I jerked off to? Or at least thought about in that room. Virgin Mary. <laughs> Bobby Tamboro. <laughs> oh, um, me, or, me I, or Frank? No, I, know who, I know who. I know who. Um, Sophie Loren. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's hack. No, no, not, hack. not in the jerk off in now. Watch this. Watch. This is going to be fucking great. <laughs> who wants is, to is see it? it? Is, is it in hot oh, water, Gene? Look, that guy's not watching that. that. I'm a cat dad. Can you see that? Nope. You got to stand up a little bit. There you go. Oh, now, now you're gay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see before. My second cat. I got two cat dad shirts now. I was hanging out. I was hanging out today and some woman, this is the bit that made me laugh because I cracked myself up. Some girl goes, some crazy bitch. She's like, well, they, you know, semen has vitamin A, vitamin C, and zinc. I said, yeah, you can't even taste the zinc. I was pretty yeah. pleased with myself on that one. I was pretty pleased with it. I'm pretty pleased that you took a segment where, like, Frank, what did you jerk off to and made it gay? <laughs> I could do that with anything. You Here's just my cat. Here's hour. my jizz. It's Gino, everybody. Well, you, you just changed hour, it. Okay, Rock Hudson. On In Hot Water, he has this button he pushes sometimes, Pat, where he throws up gay porn. Your sound got weird again, by the way. Oh, my yeah. God. And, Frank, you said you jerked off to Rock Hudson? Well, you said gay. Who did you jerk off to? Oh, well, he was the only one that was gay back then. <laughs> that I knew of. You're right. Liberace. Well, no, I never found him attractive at all. 
Lib Tardach, Lib Tardarach, I believe he's called. Yeah. No, no, that he, that's one of your bits. It, it was you. too sophisticated. You forgot the N word part of it. Oh please, <laughs> see that woman today screaming the N word on her property. I fucking love her. No, I didn't. I didn't see your car alarm. <laughs> <laughs> We have different uh, Twitter feeds. I don't get all the stuff you get. It really is the the diff- it is really is that thing called the social dilemma. You get different fucking Twitter feeds. It's hilarious. Yeah, I know you join the clan, you get a weird you feed. Admit. What? Did you join the clan? You get a weird feed. It's a dime. <laughs> I believe it's an accurate one. By the way, I love this shirt. The fan said it's really nice. Is I didn't it? realize I needed a yellow shirt the whole time. Who knew? Daddy's a yellow guy. I don't know what's worse that you call yourself daddy, that it says cat dad on it, or it's like they just stole a charger shirt and wrote on it. It's a grotesque amalgam of them all, my friend. How have you been, Pat? You look great, buddy. I'm feeling so good that Frank might jerk off to me if he has a time machine. That's how good I'm <laughs> Bobby, you sounding better? Can you hear me? No, you sound horrible. What? What? You were good, and you're like, now you're in a can. About now. All right, well, let's start with a story that Gino will enjoy because I know he even actually tweeted about it. So let's start with this first. Biden bans calling COVID China virus and Wuhan virus. Yeah. President Joe Biden has issued an executive order banning the use of terms such as China virus and Wuhan virus when referring to COVID-19. The order applies to federal agencies and public health documents and resources. Former President Donald Trump routinely called, routinely called COVID the China virus or other conservatives linked to it to Wuhan, China, where the virus is thought to have originated in the government lab. Trump blamed China for the global coronavirus pandemic. Biden's order directly focuses on COVID-19, references to its origins and potential discrimination and stigmas placed on Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Who's the piece of shit in this story? Is it Joe Biden? Yes. We're like, listen, yes. Wait, got, what are the other you know, choices? We'll get, yes. we'll, we'll, get yeah. we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get it's to it. The piece of shit is anyone that read it, everyone that read it, read it and went, oh, thank God. Anyone that thinks not calling it the China virus, banning those words, anyone that thinks banning words is the piece of shit. Anyone that thinks burning books is a great idea is a piece of shit. Anyone that sits here and says, thank God, that'll make this country a little less racist because someone in their fucked up head, they think this is the most racist country in the world because they believe the bullshit fucking their pieces of shit. It's the least racist country in the world, okay? And if you have a problem with that lady, go back to the country where they're gonna take your clitoris. Go to Liberia, that's all black, and they hate white people. Go to fucking uh, Amsterdam where they're like, there are any black people there. Yeah, no one wants to go. That woman who fucking sat and she was a racist. Let me tell you, it's not illegal to be a racist but it's illegal to fucking uh, rob someone of their freedom of speech. And when a woman sits on her yard and yells and calls someone a nigger, I'm gonna use the word because it's just a word. I called all of this. I'm gonna, <laughs> when a woman says that and fucking, well, you know she's a racist, but the, the piece of shit is the woman that gets the camera and goes, oh my God, oh my God, you're, you're upsetting. No one cares. And, and if you let the word nigger, and I don't care, I'm over it. If, you, if I say that and you shut down, then you gave the word power and you're the piece of shit. Do you understand? Watch this, Bobby knows I think this. I understand. Watch this, Bobby. Who was the first person ever to use the phrase nigger, please? Tell him, Bobby. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. It was the preferences of a Z Harmony profile. Did you know that? You were there, Frank. Here's my point. Yeah. That's I a real, real quick, point. Gio. Before That's a point, brilliant point. joke. Before and if you you're offended your by it, then you were robbed of the brilliance because you gave a word power and you're a piece of shit. Oh, you know, by the way, to answer your question from no, an hour ago, no Biden, Biden, and by the way, I don't want to ask because I'm not afraid of the chink flu. Can I, I ask a question? Virus. Anyone what? that says, say China virus, and when someone says, and then I'll shut up, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say China virus, and when they say you can't say that, I'll be like, oops, chink flu. I'm Gino, done. You show back that. I Gino, he never gave us any other options. <laughs> no, I didn't even You jumped on the, the first word that he said. <laughs> How <laughs> bored are you when we don't hang out? Tell him. Bobby, we so, hang out every day. Tell so him it's bored. Party, Bobby. Gino, so here's the thing. I want you to know, before you came I'm a piece on, of shit. We I was this, talking right? to Bobby and Frank, and I said, don't worry. This won't be like a regular show, because Gino <laughs> will hijack it, and he'll definitely yell the N-word. I called it right before. I said oh, I everything that happened. I don't I know you. the compliment. I really enjoy doing this show, though. You know that. <laughs> and we That's enjoy having you. But 
I said to you right before, do you remember how the show works? I give you a topic. I pitch it around the people. I go, Chinese. Fuck. Oh, no, no, no. I, Gino. I saw Man in Country. Godzilla. Yeah. I went up, Jeff. I big time, you, Pat. <laughs> no, you, 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 no, you're fine. Because when I pitch it to you later, you don't have a second win because you're too old for one. It'll be great. <laughs> but, but am I wrong to say that? Like, look. I don't know. Gonna... I'm going to pitch the topic. We're going to talk <laughs> about it and find out who's wrong. All right. Find out how the show works. It's a good cigar. Is it Joe Biden? <laughs> it's Joe Biden. I mean, what do you think? Okay, I've said my piece. What do you think? I think that's I'm terrible. trying to let you know what I think. How does Aaron Berg not slit his wrists? How? Oh, he's, he's about to. He's, he gets angry. Those Jews are resilient. <laughs> <laughs> this guy gets it. Uh, you can't even you. taste the zinc, Frank. All right, back to you guys. Is it Joe Biden? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Watch this. Yes. <laughs> but the reason why it's no, here's my thing. Is it Joe Biden? Because he thinks that one of the first things he should do is not worry about everything else that's happening in the world and is pay attention to something that's just pandering. Is yeah. it Asians? Is it Asian Americans in Pacific? Island? First of all, fuck you, Pacific Islanders. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. You don't get to be in this. Hula dance your way out of this one. It's fucking it's the Asian Americans. Are they the ones who are like, Oh, finally, thank God, I was dishonored. Fuck you. You don't care what when it's said. You guys say crazy shit about white people. Koreans are the most racist people in the history of the goddamn world. They're way, they say the N-word more than Gino, or close. But they're just they saying, said it four know, times I, in the past three minutes? Oh, but I'm a sorry, Korean no. woman wears the same clothes as Gino when she sweeps her front steps, so it's fine. That's true. This is all true. Is it African, Asian Americans for doing that? Is it the Americans that are like, thank goodness, because now, you know, we can finally say these hateful things. But what is this doing to help stop this whatever virus thing is? It's not doing anything. It doesn't matter what you call it. The flu, the cough, whatever, chink flu, whatever you want to call it. It's still a thing that's looming over us, but somehow left New York the second the president switched over to a Democrat. Or is it the person that wrote this fucking article, which I'm not going to write their name in this one because I don't want to look it up anymore because we're taking 20 minutes of the goddamn segment. Or is it Gino for hijacking something and make me make me like me. Biden a little bit more than him? So it's Bobby, go me. ahead. It's always me. Bob. Gino nailed it. It's anybody who thinks censoring speech leads to anything remotely good. Um, in this instance, I think the POSs are anybody who celebrates this and goes, "Yeah, that's going to get better." Because it's not. I mean, Biden's doing what he's supposed to. He pandered his way into the White House. He's going to continue to pander. That's him playing his role. Who he's a puppet for, I don't know, but he's playing the pandering role. Whether it's truly him calling the shots or somebody else, his thing is he wants to appease. He's a puppet America. for America. It's not yeah, yeah. person anymore. They're all they're trying to do is the, they're, the, they're the person who's walking into the school cafeteria and hoping everyone likes their outfit, and they'll do whatever they can to make everyone compliment their fucking outfit. They don't yeah. even care about if the person likes the outfit. They don't care about the person. They just want everyone to smile so they can say, "Okay, I didn't fucking ruffle any feathers." But real leaders ruffle fucking feathers. You come out as I wasn't a huge Trump guy, but you come out and you go, "We're being attacked." Fuck you, chink flu. That's what you do. You fucking take your back. You, you stand up to it and you take it. Back in the day when presidents were super racist and fun, they would yell shit all the time. You can't do You can't come in now doing this. Like, look at me. I've got a kind of black woman. I'm something like, no, Biden, you were racist. You held a hose during slavery. We know it. So, Bobby, by the way, if you're supporting Asian Americans. There's two or three great wizards, I'm told, right? Bobby, you're using the same microphone they use for cheap karaoke. What are you doing? What is the sound? We can't hear Bobby's beautiful voice. Yeah, that mic sucks right now, Bobby. I don't, I don't know. Man. You always sound awesome. What, are you afraid for Gino? Is Gino no, making I, nervous? I think my machine broke. Oh. I guarantee. So just get it, close to your computer and yell, or phone and yell at us. It would probably sound better if you didn't use the mic right now. Yeah. I just yeah. said that, but Gino doesn't listen to anyone. Frank. <laughs> I, uh, I, for different reasons, I'm going to agree with Gino. Um, I, I don't like the idea Plax, that you said you don't like Plax. what I was saying All right, I like that. was that <laughs> I got it I got it but I'm what sorry I, I, like, I looked at Pat that, I was like could you in could the you day please Gene we're friends here I'm sorry Frank go on that's, that's I love okay I love this the, is I love so the much fun for me I love go the on, cigar <laughs> okay so I, I we called it the Spanish flu it was what it was. Yeah. I have no problem with that. When you got that disease, they called it crabs, what it was. And so I don't think 
that we they should really crabs. start to be sensitive about what we call the goddamn the disease. The crabs came from the ocean. The Spanish flu came from Spain, and the and the the Chinese flu came from China. It's a flu. It's from them. No big deal. They just make a big deal about everything. Everybody does. Well, well, that's just it. Oh, I thought that that's just it. It's like, am I wrong? And I'm asking you three, am I wrong? Or it's just it 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 dilutes the me- not dilutes the message, but it it distracts you from the real fucking issue here. And the real issue here is Biden. And please, I always say this. Feel free to say I'm wrong or correct me, because but I don't think I'm. The real issue here is Biden hasn't done anything differently than Trump did. The real issue here is that, I mean, it can't be this obvious, but it is. They're suddenly opening up the fucking country. Now that fucking two days after Biden's in office, they literally changed the testing, the testing criteria. So it'll look like there's fewer positives when only there's fewer false positives. And, and, and you don't notice this because he's too busy saying, and I'm going to make sure no one says, he says things that mean nothing. I'm making a mask mandate. God, that sounds great. Until you realize he can only mandate people to wear masks on federal property. That's it. That's why I put on my webpage, I'm not like, I write the word disobey. Because when I'm not wearing a fucking mask on the subway, I'm not breaking the law. I'm disobeying a ridiculous fucking thing they're telling you to do that in my opinion, it literally is the same as no more than 10 people at Thanksgiving. No one got arrested, but let's see if they actually listen. And that's what goes on when he says, hey, I've got a mask mandate and you can't say China flu. This guy's getting stuff done. He's not, he's not. You still have a 0.01% of chance of dying from this. I don't care. I don't care. This is the problem with this country. They're like, this guy, and, and, and I watch Biden because he's my president. You hear that every faggot Democrat that whined the past four years? He's my president. Whether he won or stole it, he's in office. And I watch him on a tele, I watch him talking to a teleprompter, and I root for your senile old fucking buddy. But my president isn't even trying anymore. He might be in office another two months before they yank him out or they or he dies of natural causes like bait like fucking Hank Aaron. Faggots. Gino. Here is why he is not the piece of shit in this story. <laughs> Because, is it because, I said every, no, because of everything you just said, senile old man has been around forever. If you think any of these thoughts are Joe Biden's, you're That's crazy. Joe That's Biden just wanted to be president and they wanted to put him there so they can get Kamala in there or someone else they can control afterwards. He's a puppet in the system there. Joe Biden could give a fuck. He probably says chink when he orders Chinese. Let's get some chink tonight. He probably says that. Yeah. He, give a shit. he sniffs kids. Okay. He doesn't care about racial slurs, but he's being told it's the young little fucking hipster fucks that work there. They're saying, here's what the polls say. Don't say this. They're going to be mad at you for that. We got we to gotta keep you alive and keep you there so Kamala can take your spot in two years when you die. We got to keep Two years. You're an optimist. Why won't you do it? Well, they're, they're going to... There was a TV show on Netflix called The Last Kingdom. It's a very good zombie show. And there was a king there, and they wanted to make sure the king stayed alive until the prince could come in. So what they did was they made him into a zombie and kept him alive until they could take over. <laughs> That's what they're doing with Joe Biden. They kept yeah. him alive as a zombie until Kamala can come in, the Ugandan headhunter, and take over. These are not Joe's thoughts or ideas. Joe stopped thinking for himself when Bernie caught fire. When Bernie caught fire, they said, you're not allowed to think. You want in the White House or you want out? Out of this shit. So he, Joe is not. Joe's gonna write a book before he dies and say, "I didn't believe in any of that. I don't even remember being president. Where the fuck am I?" So it's not Joe. It's the people that are feeding Joe, and he's just there to be the puppet to take it. Well, I still think he's, the, he, but he's the piece of shit because he's the guy in fucking the line of fire. Yeah. He's our president. He's a whore, and he's getting his pimps are telling him what to do. <laughs> Yeah, so he's got to be the piece of shit until the other people come out of hiding. Why are there two Robert Tamboros on here? Because he's trying to switch, you can tell. And by the way, who's the best whores? Asians. So he should love them anyway, because he's just like them, a filthy whore. Yeah, but I mean, it's frustrating to watch him. I I mean, because I almost feel like, and again, I, like I, I guarantee I'm going to get less political again, because I never was before this. And it, the past couple of years, like I did, I just got that way, but it's like, it, the country, I don't care what anyone says, I would argue the country runs itself. It does. It runs itself. And who's ever fucking in office, it's going to be fine.
mind. And you can look at it from either way, like, oh my God, he's doing all this stuff. No, he fucking, he, he signed one piece of paper. And how many people had to work on that? That fucking Alaskan pipeline or Pennsylvania pipeline. Same thing, Alaska, Pennsylvania. It, it, you're, you're damned if you do, 10, damned 000. if you don't as a politician, but he's yeah. awful. The country's fine and it doesn't affect me. I say it all the time. I'm incredibly lucky because I don't fucking worry about that shit. And it's the same thing, I don't worry about COVID. And you know who's the piece of shit? The person, and I said this on our show today in hot water, Monday through uh, Thursdays, uh, compound media. The piece of shit is the person that wakes up every day and says, I hope I don't bump into someone not wearing a mask. I don't want to get COVID. The piece of shit is the person like, thank God Joe Biden will protect me. The piece of shit is the person like, oh my God, Joe Biden can't protect me. Anyone that puts their faith in the horse shit that's going on in Washington, especially with COVID, you deserve to fucking live in the terror you do. I wake up every day and I don't give a fuck if someone sneezes on me or fucking Joe Biden fucking cuts taxes or raises. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And I guess the real question, these, Gino, is yes. if you get less political, what will you do when you actually start getting booked again? What's <laughs> <laughs> when I start getting booked again, let me say it for this. Look, he's God. not just, God, he's not you're just making optimist. sure we're not going to book him right away. He's causing, he's forcing us to think he's not going to say the N word and ruin Christmas. Aaron, I, I can't talk to Aaron Berg. I'm doing the Pat O's podcast. I'm big time right now. What are you, they what say, are you get doing, off the buddy? show. You're you hurting your ratings. Uh, Bobby, thank uh, you for changing over. Oh, no Frank, problem. Hang on. I wanted to make story. one point. We're not going to have much time <laughs> on this one. I'll, I'll give you buzz when I'm done, buddy. Everything else okay? That sounds great. <laughs> That's a good guy. Now, Bad Arthur said my love. I think he's the best. He says he loves you. I love him, too. I should have had him on. This was wrong. We should have had him on. <laughs> he said, oh, he hung up. I can't wait to tell him. He'll love that. <laughs> Can you switch? Too late. But, can yeah, I make one point on the last story? He actually has a career. Bobby sounds great Bobby. again. You sound great again. Why don't you put Thank your you. phone sideways so we're all cubes? Look at this. Thank Watch you. this. Oh, you got to adjust it, but you sound great. Hey, Andrew Look, Schultz, can you shut the fuck up for two minutes? Hey, turn your <laughs> phone sideways. All right. Frank is going to tell a story. You're going to be quiet during it, Gino, and let Frank tell his story. You get to, I wait, know. I'm going to be quiet, wait. Frank. Frank, this is me being quiet. Go, Frank, because I'm not talking. I'm Don't here. Wait, wait. Listen yeah. to your story. Don't make me mute you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, can I make, make one away. point real quick now that I have oh, good audio? Go ahead, Bobby on the last story because it's not just joe biden it's both sides like there's a bigger issue they're focusing on the small things like in we, pennsylvania if, if, bobby if we had a guest on who allowed conversation and not just <laughs> fucking up rhetoric from the fucking pulpit i would we would have gotten into that but I'm gino right. just took know. over yeah, like yeah. the fucking nazi that he all right i'm done I'm the nazi now, no. now now you're just trying no. to fucking pump up my ego but anyway <laughs> go on <laughs> look at you telling a jew you'll talk to him later what a nazi <laughs> This is so much fun. Oh, Bobby, go ahead. Make what? that point. What, Bobby? Because oh, then I got to like, let Frank talk. Then I got to shut up for Frank. So I'm letting you... In Frank. PA... <laughs> in PA, they're trying to revoke the governor's powers for lockdowns and things like that. And again, it's like, let's get through this and then we can reflect. Same with like the calling it the coronavirus versus the China virus versus the swine flu, you know, all that. Like, we can deal with that after it. Let's get through it first and figure out a plan. Like, if he came out with a coherent plan, I'd be less angry than I am. Like, even if it wasn't the plan I wanted, I'd be less angry if it was like, hey, we're going to do this for 30 days and we'll reevaluate. But right now, it's like, we're going to focus on what you can say. And in Pennsylvania, they're like, we're going to focus on what the governor can do. And nobody just wants to solve the problem. We have you know so many vaccines going away and getting wasted that we can't figure out. Like, figure that shit out, and then we can deal with what we're calling the virus. You know what I mean? Let's not waste those millions of dollars worth of vaccines. All right? You make like me think of a good point, Bobby. You're right. Here's the thing. We're a democracy, are we not? Even though it's not real and it's all fake and it was everything's done, whatever. <laughs> we're supposed to be a democracy, correct? This is what Joe yeah. Biden should have said. Hey, guys, I want to get rid of China virus, Wuhan virus, all that. So you need to go out and vote. Here's, we could either eliminate China virus or tranny. Only one of them. Which one do you want to keep saying and which one do you want to get rid of? And then people would flock to the polls and it would be that funny to point. see that no one yeah. cares about transsexual people. The China virus would win so hard because they're just like, we, they're like, we don't care. We ought to say tranny. It's fine. Have you ever heard that joke? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's Hitler. So Hitler uh, is at a bar drinking and the bartender goes up to him, right? And you probably know this, Frank. You, you were on the wrong side of the Holocaust. 
And the uh, the, the bartender, <laughs> the bartender goes to him, oh my God. He's like, is it, are you Adolf Hitler? The guy goes, yeah. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm coming back. He's like, I got a new plan. He goes, he goes, what's the plan? He goes, I'm going to kill 5 million clowns and one Jew. And the guy goes, why are you going to kill one? <laughs> he goes, why are you going to kill one Jew? He's like, see, no one cares about the Jews. <laughs> but they did care. He asked about the one Jew. Oh, maybe it was 5 million yeah, clowns. You're sp- the joke is, why <laughs> 5 million clowns? <laughs> you're supposed to say, oh, because no one cares about the Jew. In your joke, I that guy cares, no about one cares about the Jews. I just wanted to say, well, every time you saw it, go back and watch it if you're watching it. Because when I say Hitler's still alive, there's a glint in my eye, and I can't remember anything after that. It's like, uh. I just... I just like when people can watch that and go, oh, that's why Gino's career is not that good. He can't finish the joke. <laughs> you guys get it? No, because you told it wrong. <laughs> I'm so bad at telling jokes. That was hilarious because I know that joke. And I'm like, he's going to tell it wrong. <laughs> he's going to tell this joke like Frank fucking does the introductions. Like, you're, you know, I wrote terrible. it for you, Frank. I'm, like, what the I'm fuck? <laughs> oh, come on. Speaking of Frank, Frank, give us your story. All right. Thanks, Pat. Um, since I've been, I'm still locked up in my home with a 102 year old man. Nothing's going on in my life. I just have to now reach into the vault and take a story from the past. So we're going to go back uh, 61 years. Um, and I am now drinking. I am now at the Town Hill nightclub on Empire Boulevard and Bedford Avenue in Brooklyn. And I'm there to see Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke at the time was a jazz gospel singer that was making it. Um, unfortunately, he was shot to death in 1965. So probably nobody's ever heard of him. Oh, sorry. So what happened was I'm all jacked and with three of my friends, first time going out to a nightclub, uh, was sitting at a round table in front of the stage and somebody announces uh, Sam Cooke's bus broke down. He's going to be two hours late. So as an 18-year-old kid, what did we? Do? What did I do? I drank a bottle of scotch. And so when Sam C- Cook arrived, there he is. I see Sam Cook and his duo friends. I see three Sam Cooks. And so he starts singing <laughs> and dancing around. And what do I do? I jump on stage. I am now the fourth Sam Cook in the equation. And I'm dancing. And the first piece he looks at he looks not yet because there's others involved so what happens is he looks at me um he's frightful but then he realized i'm just a harmless drunk and so what eventually happens is that the room starts spinning around me i take a dive and i faint right into the into the table i was sitting at the manager comes over and they usher me out and my three friends bring me home i'm totally drunk as I walk into my apartment, my mother's on the phone with his, her brother. Her brother is 14 years older than her. He raised her because their father uh, was murdered uh, when my mother was not born yet. She was in the belly of her mother, my grandmother. And what That's happened? That's how that works. So, so my uncle took over the family business <laughs> and raised my mother. And to me... I knew who he was, but he didn't like me because I was against this soul, the grain of the soul. I was, I was always did something to get into trouble, and I like believe he getting had drunk at a Sam Cooke show. <laughs> That's yeah. right, and then dancing so, with black folks in their one moment. So somebody, somebody who he knew was there and called him up and said, "Your nephew is embarrassing you again," and so, so that's the story. So my mother didn't know what to do because she knows that she couldn't control me. So my question to you is, who's the piece of shit in this story? <laughs> Obviously, A, 1A is Frank. Not Sam Cook. that black Sam guy knew Cook. to take a bus. Sam <laughs> Cook for in hiring the 60s, a, a cheap bus company to drive him to the goddamn show. If he only got there on time, Frank wouldn't have done what he did. Right. Okay. So is it the Sam Cook? Is it me? Is it the, the the bus company that had faulty equipment? Is it the management for making a scene and kicking me out? Or is it my uncle for really being the piece of shit? Gino, go first. 
I mean, no one's a piece of shit because you're a good drunk. You didn't get in trouble. The bar owner's not a piece of shit because they just said, look, he's just an alcoholic. I don't think anyone's a piece of shit in this story. I think it shows you ready for this fucking society today. We're all pieces of shit because that story wouldn't have ended the same way. And not sure if you know this, Sam Cooke probably couldn't vote in that election. So we're pieces of shit now because we're letting guys like Sam Cooke, musicians, I meant, vote. You don't think the person that murdered his fucking grandmother was a piece of shit? (laughs) It happens. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, go ahead. Um, you were 18, right, Frank? Yeah. Then, honestly, I think it's your uncle. Even though he was kind of like your <clears throat> mother's father, he's still your uncle. And right. uncles are supposed to just take that one, pull you aside, and be like, hey, get it together. And maybe that like tender love would have helped you turn it around. But instead, he just worried your mother who, you know, like you said, couldn't do anything about it. He didn't directly confront you like a man. You know what I mean? He went through her. So he's he's frankly the piece of shit. If it was like you said, that time period, he should just whip your ass. No offense, Frank. I love you. But if he was that fed up with you, just take you out back, beat you up a little bit and help you get your life together. I agree with you. He did a bad job trying to raise me from the distance. I mean, he called me. I had to go to his house so many times because I was in trouble. And what did he do? He said, if you weren't my sister's son, I would kill you. But he never did anything about it. You know, the worst thing he did to me was that when I was getting married in 1964, I was getting married and he and he called me in and he said, I understand you're inviting my son to your wedding. I said, yeah. He says, I don't want him there. I said, well, he's a friend of mine. He's a friend of mine. He says, I'm having problems. I don't want him there. I said, I'm sorry. He's going to be there. So he shows up at the wedding. His son is there. And so he grabs me on the side. He pulls me by the collar and he gives me an envelope. And he says, I just fucked you. And I opened it up when I get a, get away from him. It was a U.S. bond for twenty five dollars, and so that I couldn't cash for seven years. So what he did is saying that instead of you getting the five hundred G's that five hundred dollars that you're supposed to get, you're getting a bond that I paid twelve dollars for. Fuck you. So I said, fuck you. Good comeback. No comeback. No, that was it. You said fuck you back to his fuck, fuck you. you. That was it. Yeah. All right. And he slapped me. <laughs> all right, there's two pieces of shit. Yeah. One, first of all, you get to that. I think there's three. Because one is me, because every time you say Sam Cook, I think of The Shining when they describe the cook from there. They're like the N-word <laughs> cook. Like every time you said it, that's all I could think of was you're the, the piece cook. of shit. Well, that is, I cook. didn't even I didn't even think that you're the piece of shit. Oh Any my time God. I hear the word Carruthers, cook. Scatman Carruthers is what you thought yes. of. Yes. Okay. Every time I hear the word cook or see a black cook, I think of Scatman Carruthers in that <laughs> one line where he's talking with a boy and it's like the cook. He's like, they didn't have to say the N-word cook. He was the only cook. <laughs> he just knew he was the cook. Anyway, Frank, there's a couple pieces of shit in here. None of them are you. Right? They're not you. One. Who the fuck was renting on a bus to black people in 1965? <laughs> because they Obviously. were racist. And that bus didn't, wasn't going to work. They were trying to kill those black people. Oh, you're on tour, cooking the cook too? That's who you are, the cook, the cookettes? Whoever you are, going off to a show. That person is a piece of shit. The cookies. The Same person. The cookies. No? So, okay, listen. If this weekend with the compound, you know, comedians, all that stuff. If you guys were uh, traveling together and it broke down... The person at the venue would have been like, hey, let's reschedule. But not white people when they're making black people do stuff in the 60s. They're like, we don't care. Get we'll here. We'll see you in two hours. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you in two hours. We're going to let an 18-year-old get all fucking shit-faced and get ready. And if, and if he jumps on stage, there's nothing you can do about it because you're black people in the 60s. Mike's going to now dance with you. Dude, these people worked hard. They fought through stereotypes. They, get, they had to perform for the people that hate them are just going to say, white women are like, I want what their cock looks like it's all just weird shit and then you go i'm gonna step and fetch with the step and fetches <laughs> you can't do that right you're not a piece of shit the place was the owners were for not turning and saying respect them because if frankie avalon walked up there they wouldn't let you fucking boot scoop boogie with his fucking ass they would say get away from get away from new jersey's legend did he say boot spook boogie yes that's what i said <laughs> that sounds racist spook. 
I said spook. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say such a terrible? Because That's Coon funny. was taken. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I said that a half an yes. hour ago. That's me. I'm sorry. Can we Take change? It? If somebody can Photoshop this and turn it to Sam Coon sings, that'll be the, the, the highlight. <laughs> and then you can send a shirt, and it could say "Racist Daddy" on the back, and send it to Gino to wear it on a shirt. It should. It should say Sam Cook Croons, but they should have the R in parentheses. <laughs> I think that'd be. No, no. Oh, yes, I am agreed. Finally, we're agreeing on something. It's <laughs> so clever. Frank, do, who do you think? Or no one asks you this in your stories, but who do you think the piece of shit is in, this, in your story? My, my, my uncle. My uncle. It played out the way it played out. in Because you could have told that story without your uncle and your mom and all that shit. That could have just been a Sam Cooke story. You let white people overshadow Sam Cooke. <laughs> No, no, he, he was there, you know, and I took advantage of a moment when I was weak and drunk and I went on stage. That's all. I, I think mean, you're being and too he, hard acted on like, he acted like a complete gentleman. He let Sam Cook looked kind action. of like a young Pedro Martinez. Ooh, he was good like looking, sure. he stared like the eye level up. Yeah, <laughs> before the Phillies used him like idiots in the fucking 2009 <laughs> series against the Yankees. What the fuck? You didn't need him. Should have fucking pitched Lee, uh, Cliff Lee fucking three fucking times. They should times. have kept no. him on the fucking bus and let him dance with Frank. By the way, baseball's <laughs> never gone back to that. Like, you get a bullpen game every World Series now. How wild is don't that? Don't even start me on that. I don't watch baseball anymore when they changed all that shit. I I'm, I'm I was a gro raised a Yankees fan, but my favorite team ever, ever is the 1986 St. Louis Cardinals because of the strategy that was involved, a team that was just set up to do things. Jack Clark was a big drunk who just hit home runs. That's all he's supposed to do. You yeah. had Willie McGee. You had Vince Coleman. You had Tommy Hurd just setting them penalties and slapping them. Tommy Hurd, this guy everything. gets it. Yeah. And as a kid, you could say Danny Cox and not get in trouble. I loved it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm watching Cox. And it was fine. Two Learn hard, these Joaquin cops. Andujar. That was a fucking step. Anyway. Walking underwear, they called him. Yeah, Joaquin, your dog Andujar by Chris Berman, the fucking <laughs> racist piece of shit, giant Fred Flintstone headed motherfucker. Anyway, <laughs> Frank, thank you for sharing. Bobby, do you have a story? Um, not this week, no. Yeah, yeah, good. Thanks, thanks for thinking about it. That was fun. <laughs> Amy Schumer reacts to Hilaria Baldwin's Spanish heritage scandal. Amy Schumer has explained why she deleted her post poking fun at Hilaria Baldwin's Spanish heritage scandal. Look, she's a mom. She's a million and a half kids. And that's really hard. Schumer 39 joked Entertainment Tonight of her choosing to delete the post. So I just, I don't want to go after them through, go through a bad time. But also, you can't just pretend you're from Spain. Schumer also commented on the fact that the video, which led Baldwin to reveal that she was actually born Hillary Hayward Thomas in Boston and not Spanish, was a response to Schumer's online jokes about her posing in lingerie with her baby, which is a whole different fucking thing. Oh, my God. I really don't even know what to say. I don't know what was going on. It happened, obviously, Schumer said. I feel like it was so insane and entertaining that I think Hillary is probably the only person who is happy with the ins insurrection of the Capitol because it's distracted people from that. Okay. There's a lot of pieces of shit in this story, so just try to narrow down all you can. Is it Amy Schumer? Okay, your time's over, bitch. Okay, you did it. You were fucking, you skyrocketed. You did it. You are dropping out of that. You were supposed to be this woman power thing with the, the all the shows you made. And stuff. Now you're going to attack a lady because she's pretending she's Spanish? You pretended you were funny for a long fucking time. You pretended you were Patrice O'Neal for a long fucking time. You pretended <laughs> you were hot for a long fucking time. No one called in that shit. Now you're fucking it. a fat cook who's kind of retarded sometimes having a dumb baby. No one cares about it. You're going on Twitter, I understand. But you're literally doing a story about deleting tweets? Holy shit, what have we become? Is it, is it the people writing that? It's a tweet that's deleted. Do you know how many times Gino has to change a delete because he only put one G in the N-word? Like, he has to do that all the time. That's pretty good. I'm not going to touch it, that. Yeah, you shouldn't. You should actually let me do this because I have more time than you on stage and all. Anyway. I I'm so proud of that I'm going to hug myself. I enjoyed yeah. that one so much. One G and hug. Anyway, yeah. so, <laughs> is, it, is it the people that wrote this story? Is it Hilaria Baldwin for pretending she was Spanish? You know what? I don't really care about that. I don't think that's racist. If she pretends she was Puerto Rican, I have a problem. But a Spaniard? I got no problem with that. They're conquistadors. That's fine. Who gives a fuck? Is it her for taking a picture with her baby in lingerie? Which, by the way, she wasn't trying to fuck her baby. She was just wearing lingerie and holding the baby. Sometimes you're not holding the dick when you're wearing lingerie. You have to do stuff afterward. The baby's crying. You're done being fucked. You go get it. I don't know if that's what was happening. That's it. 
Is it anyone who cares about Baldwin or Schumer at all in this point? If his name's not Chuck in front of it, why the fuck do you give out Schumer at this point? Amy is not even the best Schumer right the fuck now. Another Jewish name. Or is it German? I can't tell. Who is the piece of shit in this story? Bobby, go ahead. Uh, I'd like to add Amy Schumer to my wheelhouse. Really? Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> um, no. The piece of shit when I Amy met Schumer. her years ago, like when she was just finished dating Jezelnik, there was a moment at a club where you're like, it, she's not the worst. But then she just ate herself. <laughs> I was just making a joke. No, you were. I thought this you was like that, a podcast. You, you like fat women. What of my other list would make you think that? Anyway, more importantly, Amy's the piece of shit. So I think settling thing, was making me think that, Bobby. That's all. The hilarious thing is hilarious. Like, it's just, I think it is so funny that she's just like, yeah, I'm Spanish. Yeah, I, wish I think that's great. Would just randomly pick up a, a different heritage and be like, yeah, boy. What was that black lady's really? name? It wasn't black. Dolomite. What was her name? Dolomite was not her <laughs> no, name. No, not that Dolomite. Really what was that woman? Rachel Dolier? A lot of people won't appreciate that. That was really good. Yeah, I know. Really I good. <laughs> but like, yeah, and who cares? It's hilarious. It's literally a 30 Rock skit come to life. <laughs> it's hilarious. She pretended she was Spanish. You got caught. Yeah. Because and how do you not get caught? Talking like, about we it. lived with you in Boston. You were not Spanish. <laughs> you get caught right away. She didn't like delete her Facebook either. It was just like an old high school friend. They were like, wait a second. You're not Spanish. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. You know what? When I was in high school, I dated a girl who I thought was Spanish, but she was just light-skinned black because she pretended she was Spanish, pretended she used a Spanish accent all day because she'd rather be Puerto Rican than black. Which so I she wasn't get. lazy. She was obstinate. Okay, yes. I get it. I get it. <laughs> she cleaned the KFC. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, Bobby, I think you're... more right. racist. He's the ass. The yeah. piece of if shit. I do, you... it with, I do it with style. <laughs> Oh, I can't be bored, bothered with it. Piece of shit, ready for this? It's Comedy Central. Comedy Central is a piece of shit. Amy Schumer is the victim. Amy Schumer is the Joe Biden from your earlier comparison in this fucking narrative. Because Amy Schumer, and we would all have done it, Pat, Amy Schumer got snatched up too soon. She didn't get the rep singe, but she was just cute enough and just likable enough and young enough that guys like me and Bobby and you were like, oh, I could fuck her when we couldn't. But she never learned her chops. It's, it's like a quarterback like Colin Kaepernick, who never learned how to make a mistake. Fucking all the great quarterbacks in the NFL were guys that didn't fucking, you know, were one year wonders. Aaron Rodgers at Cal, fucking Drew Brees at Purdue, fucking Tom Brady at Michigan. These are all Philip Rivers at North Carolina State. These are all guys that fucking got reps and reps and reps in and knew how to succeed. That's easy, but learning how to fail from it, that's hard. And that's what Amy Schumer never fucking did. And she does, and they asked her to do a second special. She's like, I'll do a leather special. Well, I got no jokes. I'll steal Patrice's. And then she's like, I got to get arrested. Arrest me. She does everything you now. And it's not, it's not your fault. It's not your fault, Amy, because you don't know what to do. And so what'd you do? You're like, well, I'll get married. I'll get pregnant. I'll take pictures of me. You're not cute anymore. You're never funny. And now you're exposed because you can't write a joke. And she was never prepared for this. And let me tell you, we would have all had same problem if comedy central or fucking nbc came up to me you or bobby fucking or frank when there were only two networks fucking they would have come up to us and they would have said hey hey uh you want to do stand-up and fucking the other two pat and bob would have been like or me and bobby would have said pat you, you, you're not ready for this be like get the fuck out of here we all would have said it it's not her fault but she doesn't know what she's fucking doing and now comedy central because they have no fucking soul they have no code private santiago Fucking, they left her to fucking dry. And they're like, hey, we'll give you a show on that. You're, she's awful now, and it's not her fault because she never learned. Fucking guys like us, we have an act that won't fold, to quote Artie Lang when he wasn't doing heroin. We fucking got so many reps, and we say what we want, and we stand behind it. Do you know, I think your Thomas Jefferson joke is racist. Well, tell everyone it's racist. The people that get it, get it. The people that don't, don't. I fucking, I, I fucking know my truth. I have my fucking fans and I'm lucky I didn't choose it. It was forced on us because we're white, old, straight, wink, wink, Bobby, fucking comedians <laughs> and no one has time for us. So we had to sit and make our own fucking way. You understand? Amy didn't have to do, and, and that's what goes on. Oh my God, fucking let me tell you. 
Tre Trevor Noah, the only thing original about him is his aboriginal heritage. That's fucking it, okay? Fucking Colbert is a shill. Fucking uh, Jimmy Kimmel, fucking, he's, he's Howard Stern. He's just given up. Fucking, uh, who's the guy I can never remember his name now? Thank God, because he's so fucking bad. The guy that does uh, the late show now, that fucking uh, Seth Meyers. No one has a voice. They're just all a different brand. The soccer moms are the fat fag. The fucking dudes are the men's show. The fucking Trump haters are fucking Colbert. The fucking snarky fucks. And I'm going to bury the hatchet, not Axe, who didn't mean to bring up Alex. Is she listening? No, I'm going to bury the hatchet with Jimmy Fallon because all he does is laugh at everyone, but he never really got political. Circling back to my point, Comedy Central fucked her over. And now she doesn't know how to handle herself. And they're not saving her. They're not. Why the piece of shit in the story is Gino. I'm because usually the piece of shit. You just literally pulled an Amy Schumer and stole my whole thing that I use for Joe Biden. <laughs> yes. I said, Joe Biden's a puppet. It's yes. all that you're like, nope, not a puppet. Then you go, here's why it's Comedy Central. <laughs> but I referenced you, so it's an homage. You got an oh, opportunity I <laughs> that she couldn't handle. Like Biden. I like did Trevor it. You stole it. You hacked me. Those? You hacked you froze right there with your Dude, mouth open. I'm going to just do you and that. be like, did, did he say that? I Me? Mean, yes, you had. Oh, it. Uh, but it's true. No. Amy Schumer got fucked by Tommy. You're 100% right. I think simple. it's just funny we had the same point. Frank, who's the piece of shit? Well, you I know, mean, you even, know all even, these celebrities. I think you fucked Amy Schumer once. Big star. <laughs> even though Gino's story was very compelling. So I have long. To, by the way, have Frank, to... I'll never make fun of you for talking long again. <laughs> okay. Hey, no, no, seriously, I, the first 18 minutes was brilliant, I thought. So <laughs> what I said, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> I think the piece we, of shit Gino is Alec Baldwin. He did 18. <laughs> it, Alec Baldwin. Alan, Alec Baldwin's the piece of shit. Because most likely he came up with that backstory that she's this immigrant from, uh, from Europe, from Spain, and she carved out a life for herself here as this immigrant. And she either was either a nanny or, a, um, uh, or something, or an exercise chick. I don't know. You think but Alec Baldwin th cared about that? He just called women pigs back then. He didn't care. No, I, well, what I heard, I remember the story, and I remember he's the one that originally came up with this backstory, and who knew she was this Irish chick from Boston? I mean, he All was her trying friends. to make, his first four wives were Irish, so he was trying to do something different. He put a little Spanish flavor into it, and he fucked up. I mean, so without a doubt, Alec Baldwin for that and many other issues is the piece of shit. Time out. Time out. Yeah, here we go. You cannot call the person who pretended to be somebody else and fooled everybody and didn't let him in on the secret a piece of shit, Frank. <laughs> that is yeah, literally that's your whole -O -T -T. thing. Bobby's that right. is your stick. You cannot yell at her. You should be You've her been doing hoaxes fan. and pranks for 60 years. You just called out a guy doing a hoax and a prank. <laughs> Fuck you, Frank. Good job, Bobby. Uh, baby. Funny, okay. <laughs> All right, you got me. I'm jealous. <laughs> Frank Spanish. <laughs> Gino, thank you so much for being on the show today. I know for the last three minutes you ignored us and stared at your phone. And we no, understand. no, no. I, I just got Larry B. I got to get cold. I, golf. I just said, stop. You, so, you know I love it. I'll do it every fucking week. I'll threaten you. You know I love doing your show. And by the way, as, speaking of people that fuck themselves, I love the way you, I love Mike Figs, but I love the way you went at him on Ski Mask. And it's like, you fucked up, Figs. Just say you fucked up. We, that's the other thing. We always fuck up. Fucking, I say I'm wrong on our show all the time. I'm like, call in, prove me wrong. And half the time, I'm like, all right, I'm wrong. You win. Fucking, I, 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 there's hills I'll die on. And one is I'm not wearing a mask unless you're fucking three feet from my face. And I still boo, don't care. you suck. But you know what I mean? Like, just boo, you suck. You just sit there and say you fucked up. He's another one that's like, ah, well, you know, I don't have time for people that aren't willing to say, well, I fucked up. But this is, if you, got, you can't get to where we are, wherever the fuck this is, if you can't laugh at yourself. And that's what we do, you know, and I love this shit. Thanks for having me, man. I love doing it. And I knew you were going to bring up figs when you said Trevor Noah. And I'm like, uh-oh, <laughs> that's, the, that's the figs alarm that goes off. But he did remember. He's like, I like him. Like, what? Well, at the time he said we didn't pay him, he's like, just say, well, I'm wrong. He's never wrong. He's never wrong. Well, okay, you're never wrong. Fucking get around your ego, fat ass. He's wrong. And listen, to make it clear, like you said, we all love him. We all love him. Figs. I was happy he got that spot in the first place. But as a guy who worked really hard to get on compound and did not get my shot, 
He fucking blew an opportunity that if I had, I would have made it to fucking more. Not because I'm better than Figs, but I would have worked harder. And I would have, Bobby and I talked about this quickly. I'm not going to say anything crazy about it, but in my opinion, that spot, the second you, you have different thoughts of things, when Christy says, hey, be my sidekick, not my co host, be my announcer, I would say, what is my role? Am I allowed to pitch ideas? Am I allowed to? Is that going to change? And if she said, no, yeah. you're just a little side, but you're Ed McMahon, you're doing whatever, put on your bow tie, show your tits, do whatever. Then that's do what it. he's going to be. And then you take those opportunities and you don't try to do anything else with in hot, with a wet spot. You go over to you guys in hot water. You go over to fucking E-Rock and say, can I try to do my own show or do something like that? In this time, he would have gotten it. Bobby got a chance to go do something on there. They wouldn't have given you opportunity because they can't fucking hire people like me because they're too or during goddamn COVID. Yeah, well, and, and that's the other thing. It's like once he left Chrissy, he came to us with the stink of failure on him. He but, literally texted Berg like, he's like, hey, I'm coming on tomorrow and this is what I'm doing. What? Look, that's you saying, wow, I really fucked up, but let me show Chrissy. I can go back to in hot water whenever I want. No, you you can, but you, you don't demand. It with, we don't. He was on your show at its height, by the way. Yeah. At oh. its height. That's what he said in the thing, which I thought was the best. When he was there, it was at its height. I, I pointed out to Berg today. I'm like, you know, he said you promised him the third mic. There's no third mic. Garrett is the third mic. Fucking Did you hear Steve my response to that? Wait, let me rephrase. I'm the fucking third mic. I sit in the host chair, but I'm the fucking third mic. He wants my job, that son of a bitch. I don't Jesus. know if you heard my response, Gino, but my response let me, was the first the mic is the third no, mic. No, no. Garrett, Steve, and, and Aaron are the first mic. Right, the but what callers, I was saying, in other words, the, the fans show are the is talented. Second, so. Yeah, the fans are the second mic, and I'm just the third mic spinning those fucking plates. I'm just fucking <laughs> pointing and I'm scatting and bebopping around all of them, but it is so much fun. So much fucking fun. In Hot Water, Monday through Thursday, 2 to 3.30. If you're not subscribed to Compound Media and you're still thinking it's enter nothing is entertaining on TV anymore. Nothing. It's Netflix. You have to pay for fucking entertainment. I, I can't think of anything I watch on TV anymore other than reruns of Columbo, Me TV, fucking... Uh, and all the sports uh, what, you watch uh, ever, dude. Well, sports, but you can get sports anywhere. You can watch... Uh, oh, and of course, and of course, Tucker. I gotta watch Tucker. I'm DVRing it while we do this. Tucker, which I can't even watch anymore. Half the time, just I just switch to Columbo or an Avengers rerun. One of those movies. I mean, you should play the audio of Columbo and then just and then just show Tucker and make it pretend like he's talking like Columbo. That'd be fun. Yeah. One more. One more thing. Uh, really? Mr. One Bob. more thing? Come on. <laughs> one more thing. One more thing. I don't have one more thing. Nice. Thank you. That was brilliant. That was almost as good as your punchline to the clown joke. Bobby, what do you got? <laughs> Check out the Eastside Dave show every Tuesday at 730, also on Compound Media. Uh, March 5th and 6th, Scotty's Comedy Co. In New oh, Jersey. me and you, right? I'll be with Gino. Um, I know times are tight. New Jersey is one of our hot spots. If you want to come and you can't get tickets, hit me up. We'll work something out. Same thing goes with a ride. Enough people will be coming. We can work it all out. Just nice. slide in the DMs. Frank, slide the DMs means send him a message. Oh, okay. Now, Frank, <laughs> do you have anything? I got nothing. I nice. got zippo. I got nothing going on in my life. Where can <laughs> they? No, you know what? Let's keep pushing this. Where can they find the uh, the Abe raising Abe or whatever? What's it called again? Uh, Abel raises Cain. Right. Yeah, Where can they find that? It, you can. They can stream. It was on Netflix. I don't know if it's still on Netflix, but it's uh, all got over. Got one you thing. Can stream it. You can stream it online. All right. Well, Frank Frank's thing is a great story about him and his buddy who did incredible pranks and hoaxes and all that shit like that. Please like the YouTube channel. Check that out. I've got a new dumb thing I'm doing called meditation. I started doing meditation and people said, that's stupid. We hate that. So now I'm doing it, but it's a comedy thing, whatever. But me meditating with saying all the fucked up things in your head that you're thinking while you're doing Where it. Where is that? I want my YouTube that. channel. Pat oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's only eight I, minutes long. Do me a me. favor, Pat. Tweet it to me, and I'll retweet it to our stupid fans and stuff, but I'd love to see it, and I won't remember. So do Take that. that stupid see. fans. Yeah, no, they're, <laughs> we're stupid. They're stupid, too. But retweet it to me so I can take a peek, and and, and, and I'll plug this appearance coming up. When does this air? Uh, at the end of the week. So I'll, I'll let you know. I'll tag it, and then you'll go, wait, this isn't my ex-girlfriend or black people, so I don't, I'm not going to yell at it. And it's fine. <laughs> so thank you so much, Gino. We really appreciate you coming on. And Bobby... Remember, don't be a piece of shit. Nice.